excerpted from Tukiad, Glory and Sacrifice, by Shintaro Datsin, Comstar Press, 3054. Though it has become only a minor footnote in the annals of history, one incident took place on Tukiad that has captured the imagination of all who have studied that titanic battle. On the third day of the fighting, the Gamma Light Supernova Star of the Smoked Jaguars, 122nd Striker Cluster, the Spotted Cats of Death, passed within 30 kilometers of Precentor Marshal Vought's hidden command bunker in the heart of Mount Klein. Though it was nearly certain that the Jaguars would fail to detect the hidden post, Adept Rita Brand chose to guarantee that failure. Charged with providing the bunker's first line of defense, Adept Brand hid her command in hastily dug foxholes. From these concealed positions, Brand waited until the Omnimex of Gamma Light came within point-blank range, then issued orders for a strafing and bombing run from her aerospace support unit at the same time that her heavy mechs broke from the foxholes and opened fire. None of the clan warriors escaped, and none of them managed to pierce our ECM net to warn their cluster of Adept Brand's location. But what if they had? Almost certainly, such a fierce defense of an apparent valueless location would have intrigued Khan Edmund Hoyt. He would have ordered the entire 122nd Striker Cluster to search the area, and they would have, inevitably, have discovered the bunker. Despite the confidence in the defenses of the Tamo bunker expressed in a Comstar report, the bunker was far from invulnerable. The Smoke Jaguar's combat engineers could have quickly come up with any number of strategies to defeat the granite slabs shielding the bunker's entrance tunnels. They might, for example, have used the tremendous firepower of their orbiting warships to destroy the stone and then clear the remaining rubble with their Omnimex. Or they could have attached Myama cables to the slabs and used the combined strength of their cluster's 35 mechs to drag the stone out of their tunnels. They could also have bypassed the protected tunnels and dug their way in through the softer stone of the bunker walls, though any of these strategies would have served as a considerable delay to the clan attack on the bunker. The delay would not have saved the Precentor Marshal. If besieged, the Precentor Marshal had few choices for his own defence, and none of them good. If he had ordered the Comguard's 5th and 2nd armies to pull out the Dinju Heights and Port Resais, he would have lost both cities and both armies as well. Had the Com Guards abandoned their prepared positions in order to fight the Smoke Jaguars in the open, the clans would have slaughtered them. If even a single light Omnimech of the 122nd had survived the ambush in the Tamo Mountains, the entire Battle of Tukiad might have ended very differently than it did. Deprived of the experience and leadership of Presenter Marshal, the Com Guards could have lost, and we might all bear the Bondsman's cord on our wrists.